June sure has been a busy month in the world of gaming. With Keanu Reeves stealing the show at E3, Norman Reedus creeping us out with his baby fetus, and amidst all of that, some pretty stellar games dropping for the Nintendo Switch. So without further ado, let's take a look at some of the best from the month. Six. First up, and without a doubt the highlight from June, we have Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled. This remaster of the cult classic Kart Racer has managed to retain all of the charm and fun of the original CTR, making it a great game for local co-op or tearing up the leaderboards online. But this isn't just cheap nostalgia bait, and developers Beanox have added more than a graphical update. Brand new unlockable kart parts, character skins and customization items mean that there's even more incentive to be the fastest on the track. An absolute must purchase for hardcore and casual gamers alike. And yes, Ripperoo is still horrendously annoying. Next up we have Super Mario Maker 2. And on the surface, this sequel to the original Mario level builder may not seem like much of a step up from its predecessor, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, as there's a certain satisfaction achieved from building your dream level that can't be replicated by any other type of game. However, tucked away amongst all of the creation modes is Story Mode, which is effectively a brand new Mario adventure in its own right, built from the styles of Mario games throughout the decades. This alone makes it worth picking up, but even if you don't consider yourself particularly creative, there's plenty of hours to be lost in the creation modes too. June also sees the release of the Switch port of Mutant Year Zero Road to Eden. Adapted from a Swedish tabletop RPG, this employs grid-based tactics a la XCOM against a unique, post-apocalyptic backdrop. And by unique, I mean talking duck-human hybrids. And what a glorious future it is. Gameplay-wise, what makes Mutant Year Zero so interesting is the way it blends turn-based mechanics with real-time stealth. It just opens up so many possibilities and variations of ways you can play the game. Want to sneak around your enemies and catch them off guard? You've got it. Want to smash through them head on? It's up to you. And this decision making really makes you think about the best ways to approach each situation, making for a very rewarding experience. And finally, we have MotoGP 19. Last year's entry to the series saw a move over to the Unreal 4 engine to mixed reception, and I'm happy to report that MotoGP 19 fixes many of these grievances. An advanced AI system means your opponents react to you and other races in real time, meaning no two laps will ever feel the same, making for one of the most realistic motorcycling sims ever. Couple this with a meaty career mode, as well as a chance to play using bikes from some of the most famous races in history, and you've got one of the best racing games to ever grace a handheld console. And that's a wrap on the best picks from the month. What were your favourite games from June? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more great content every week. Six.